Hi, Chuck Borelli, Real Rehabber. Well, here we are in our burn house again, but today I'm gonna to talk about calculating rehab costs. Um, this, this house is uh, complicated, so it makes for a good example and uh, we can run through a lot of things. Now, I'm not necessarily going to give you a number for everything because numbers are very specific to your area. Now, I may throw a few out there, but basically you have to check your own area for what your costs are. We're gonna go through this house a little bit. The first thing I notice is that the driveway is pretty good. The second thing I notice is that this house needs a roof. I know that because the shingles are starting to separate and because there is burn damage on the back of this roof. Plus the, the city records show this roof to be about 20 years old and that's about all you get out of a roof in Florida. The windows are old and broken. So the windows are shot and what you're gonna have to do is count up all the windows in this house, put them together and figure out what they're gonna cost you. You can actually price windows at Home Depot. Or Most houses in this class are gonna take standard windows. Doors, exterior doors. Now this exterior door, if you look down at the bottom, you can see it's starting to deteriorate. Um, that's a dead giveaway on a door. Usually at the base right here, that one's actually not too bad, but this door's pretty beat up and we're doing a full rehab on this house, but you can see it's separating from the bottom and we're gonna be tearing out this wall and putting back a real garage door. So we know we need to factor in a garage door. Uh, we know this house needs new soffit, but that'll be with our roof program. This is an electrical mast. Um, that's something you need to check on houses. This one is good. Uh, a lot of times they come out the top of the house. So this one is all right. It's a block house, so there's no foundation issues. I'd be looking for cracks in the foundation, but there are none. I'd be looking for cracks in the block wall, separation in the blocks. That's very critical. Foundation issues can cost you a lot of money. All the doors in this house need replacing. This is an expense. This is what I refer to as a tree monster. Okay, you see how the tree is hanging over the house? That's not good. Now this, this tree is actually on the property line between the two houses. So I don't have to cut the tree off the neighbor's house because he's equally responsible for the tree. But I do want to, I want the tree not over the roof. So tree cutting, that's another thing you need to factor in. This is an old electrical panel. Um, this one is an old Stablock system, Federal Pacific. Um, it has to go. It's undersized for today's uh, power needs in a house. Um, generally, you want at least 150 to 250 amps in a modern house. And a lot of these were 100 amps back in the day. Um, this one's probably a 150, but like I said, it's a Federal Pacific and we always change those because safety is something I won't compromise in a house no matter what it costs me. This water heater is shot. It's got to be replaced. Um, a water heater is about $400 to $500 for a new water heater and usually about a hundred bucks to have it installed. AC system. This AC system is old. Um, I can tell you that it will not pass inspection. Um, if you try to flip this house without changing this AC system, the home inspector that they send through will eat you alive on it. And they should, because people, when they buy a house, they don't need a bunch of expenses added on right after they leave. You can see that the outside unit is also pretty dated and old. It's an old Goodman. It might actually run, but it won't run for very long. Now this house had spurn damage, so some of the electrical wiring will also have to be replaced. I know we're gonna have to run a new home run to this bathroom and this bedroom, and that we'll need to run a new home run to our air conditioning system because this is where the fire was. In most, in most cases, you're not gonna have this extensive damage, but you always wanna make sure you have copper wiring in your house. Uh, when you evaluate your house, because if you have aluminum wiring, you're probably going to have to replace it all. And it's okay, but expect to be paying five to $10,000 to have the house rewired uh, with copper wiring. And then you also have to go back and, and repair whatever the electricians cut or broke to get into the walls. When you're doing electrical in older houses, these to GFIs in wet areas. This is a bathroom handling the others. Safety is not something I compromise on. I always put GFIs in, whether, um, whether they're grandfathered or not, I'm putting GFIs in, and I'm also putting good smoke detectors in. Um, I want people to buy my houses to be safe, and I want their children and families to be safe. 
I know this ducting is old and taped together. I don't always replace AC ducting when I replace the system if it's in good shape, but this system is very old and that AC ducting has to go. There are some framing costs here. Framing is not actually that expensive. Um, your, um, your basic contractor or even a, a subcontractor should be able to tell you very quickly uh, what, what cost to frame out walls and things like this. And we buy fours and drywall, not that expensive. There's quite a bit of drywall work here. Also. We know that the whole house needs flooring. Uh, new flooring really pops a house. Uh, it's going to need a new kitchen. You can see we tore this wall out, so it's going to open this up beautiful. Uh, wait till you see this kitchen. It's going to be amazing. Um, so we got new cabinetry, um, new flooring, new appliances, new everything in here. So um, I usually spend about 6000 on a kitchen, but uh, it depends on what level you want to finish a kitchen to and what your local costs are in your area. This house has copper plumbing and it's all okay. So we don't need to mess with plumbing other than fixtures. Changing all our interior and exterior doors. The doors in this house are all shot and dated. And doors are not that expensive, especially interior doors. You're probably looking at $150, $170 installed for a basic uh, six panel or a um, arch panel top door, which is what's more modern now. They give the house a lot of pop. Uh, we're gonna put five and a quarter baseboard in this house, it'll look great. We're gonna trim, uh, replace all the door trim as well. Uh, I don't always replace all the trim in a house, but this was, this trim was in bad shape because of the fire, so we're gonna replace that. Inexpensive things also to change in a house. Um, new outlets, uh, new switches. Those upgrades are cheap and they just look great. Like you're gonna replace all your lighting, always replace your lighting, it's cheap, and it just adds a lot of new pop to a house. Well, I hope this was useful to you. Uh, like I said, running, uh, running all these numbers for you in this house doesn't really do you much good because you need to know what your costs are in your local area. But this is basically um, this whole rehab. Um, we run through this whole rehab. Now there's, I'm sure there's some things I missed here but it gives you some basic things to think about and um, you have to just watch out for those major systems. Always check your foundation, always check your wiring, um, always check your AC systems, always check your roof. Uh, those are very important and they can be expensive. And you always want to, and if you have, and if you're buying a house with a, a well or a septic, you want to make sure that those work. Like I said, those can all be replaced as well, but you need to make sure you factor them into your costs when you make your offer on a property. Um, remember to hit us up on Facebook. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please like us and please follow us. Um, we love to help other investors. Uh, uh, you'll see our number at the end. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, send me a note. Thank you.